Hey everyone, so we are all packed up for the clinic. Here's the truck. Those are my boots. They're still drying. I washed them last night and they were, they're going to be wet for like another few hours. There's my saddle pad and we have our tack trunk and then in the back we have hay and um, shavings and we have our two little apples for the boys when we get there but we are super excited and yeah, here we go. You want to go on an adventure? So Arrow and Aspen are all ready to get on the trailer. But they don't know it. So we made it to the clinic and we're just getting them used to everything. There's the outdoor and there's the indoor. We're all unloaded and the horses are doing really well, really, really well for this being Arrow's fourth time off property and Aspen's, um, I think first time really since, besides moving. So they're doing really, really well. That's just wrong. Next morning, and we're here. They survived. Now I'm gonna pick out his stall. Hey everyone, so I just wanted to pop in here and give a little voiceover for my first ride with Lori Headland. So, in these clips, you can see us just warming up at the walk. We did our normal warm up, which usually consists of loosening him, his jaw 
and working on moving him away from my leg a bit. One of my favorite warm-up exercises is doing free walk across the diagonal because he loves it so much and he stretches down so easily and walks forward and it's just a great exercise to bring them up and put them in their hair hand and then allow them to stretch down. Anyway, after we finished our warm-up walk, we went into the trot and Arrow was pretty good at the trot. You can see pretty forward and doing a good job at listening but also super distracted and his ears tend to be more perked and forward than on me, which is okay because this is only his third or fourth time away from his normal arena. So, but he still did a really nice job. I think our biggest issue was him diving in, definitely. So one of the things we really worked on was a uh, turn on the forehand, but before we had gone to the clinic, i had been working on side pass just to have for if you're on trail rides it's a great tool to always have to have them move sideways if you need to open a gate or something and so he was giving me side pass not necessarily in this clip but the next day he was giving me more side pass than turn on the forehand which is okay and it was just really cute so we haven't worked on a lot of leg yielding so the idea of coming away from my leg was a little bit confusing for Arrow. He understands it like turn on the forehand at a standstill, but when we're moving it's a little different and you can see he's kind of just like, I'm just gonna keep walking straight. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> but he kind of picks it up in this next clip a little bit better. Okay, this has nothing to do with our riding, but I absolutely love that you can see his spots in this clip because they don't show up super visibly all the time, but he does have little white snowflakes all over his butt. I think this is so cute because Arrow's trying so hard and, you know, it's not right, but he's just trying his best and he's crossing his front legs and just following his shoulder, but it's adorable and he's getting that new concept. So you can see here Arrow doing a bit more side pass than turn on the forehand, but I really do like how much he's crossing behind and how he's really trying to understand and do what I'm asking him to do. You can see him actually thinking and focusing on what he's doing. So I decided to take Arrow out on the track after our ride and he was such a good boy. As you can see here, he trotted away and he had actually cantered yeah. um, towards my mom who was filming this once before. And so this was the second time we did it and I asked my mom to get it on video and of course we captured the magnificent fall you're about to see. I was asking Arrow to go more forward than I should have asked him to. He was, he's still green and he's still young and he just was having too much fun out there. So yes, that was the result. And then of course I got back on and did it again. Hey everyone, so we're here for the third morning and we are about to clean stalls and then <sighs> I think just ride and then we're gonna go home. So Arrow did a great job at remembering some of the concepts that we worked on the day before, like leg yielding, and he did a pretty good job here of coming away from my leg.
We then worked on a little bit of leg yield at the trot and you can see here that I turn on a really shallow like eighth line and he goes over. He kind of just follows his shoulder and trots on a diagonal but hey he's starting to understand those concepts which is really good. We then worked on my favorite exercise of the entire clinic which was changes of direction like on a uh, figure eight, which I absolutely love this because Arrow has struggled with this in the past and he was like doing such a good job listening to what I was asking of him with this exercise. Like that is so smooth <laughs> compared to how it's been in the past. So I was super, super proud of him and he was in my hand and moving forward and flowy and you can see his tail is moving back and forth, which is always a sign of relaxation. And I was just really impressed with him and how he handled this exercise. Also, I was just impressed in general, the trot he was giving me. It was super, super relaxed and more rhythmical than it had been the day before, which really shows that he had gotten used to a new place pretty quickly, and I'm just proud of him, and I see a lot of hope in our future for showing and everything, clinics, everything. Of course, we both needed a little walk break then, and then we got to the hardest part of both of our lessons, which was cantering. He was so chaotic in the canter. <laughs> like, I don't know if you can see it in these clips as much, but he did not want to be on any wall at all. If I would have let him, he probably would have cantered on like a five meter circle in the middle of the arena. I don't know what it was. I don't know if the walls were scary. I think he just was being arrow and being goofy and he maybe, who knows? Horses are just, he was just being... He was just being arrow. But he did give me some nice canter, and of course we're currently working on getting him more in my hand instead of llama. So that's the goal. This clip shows how that wall is gonna kill him. And he did not want to be on that wall, or any wall, to be exact. But that's pretty nice canter coming down that long side. I'll give it to him. Anyway, that concludes our wonderful clinic experience. Arrow and Aspen definitely exceeded our expectations for how amazing they did and how well they got used to their surroundings. So proud of them. Lori Hedlund was absolutely brilliant on giving us new ideas to work on for future lessons. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for following another piece of our journey. See you next time.